on the last episode of The Longing Ribbon. What the fuck is going on here? Sammy! Sammy! And the epic adventure continues. Hey guys, this is Lady Rowan back with another episode of The Longing Ribbon. Last Ruby left off. A lot of shit went down. We were solving the puzzle piece by piece. And I forgot what we're doing here. So, okay, this is Luke's room. Right now, um, the lady and the demons... I don't know what's going on, actually. I freaking... It's still kind of confusing to me. But right now... Excuse me, I just woke up. Right now, what we're gonna do... Is we have to go back in the house and get our friends. Because our friends are still in the um, other house, or we're in that house. They're being possessed by um, Darksil. I think that's how you pronounce his name. And this other demon, I'm guessing he's older because Darksil called him old. He's, um, his name is Restian. Right? I thought that was like some language for ribbon or something. I still don't know what this ribbon is because I remember Dark so much. Oh, okay. Well, he's there. We're gonna go check him out in a minute. Um, I wanna use the sink and up my stats a bit. Use the toilet. Um, I'm gonna upgrade my M. So now, we're gonna head down there, and we're gonna do this. But anyway, about the two demons, I don't know. Something's up. Listen. Can you hear me? I have a banana in my ear. Yeah, I hear Good. I wonder what they would've said if I said that. <laughs> oh my god. If I reveal myself to you, you may find it painful. To communicate cer cerebrally, cerebrally requires severe conditioning. Perhaps all you have experienced here so far has provided that conditioning. Well, we shall see. Oh, that's him. Okay, never mind. He has a he has a voice. You are entwined in a massive horror now, Jimmy. You know you desire to escape with your friends. But if you are not strong enough to extract yourself from this burrow, I am obliged to have you destroyed. It will be a death more human, you, more humane than which awaits you otherwise. So he's giving me a choice to either die or face the other demon. Take the sword. Are we gonna duel? I guess we are. I got this. Miss, bitch! Ho ho! Attack! Ho ho! Miss again! Attack! Oh, okay, you got me that time. But you have fist! That's not cool. Triple strike! Um. Backhand. Oh, I got this. I didn't kill him, did I? <clears throat> oh, he healed him. Okay, that's good. Alright, let's talk. I am- I am Rustin. For years I have communicated with this world through this boy's body. I must confess responsibility for your anguish, Janine. For it was I who brought you here, and all your friends here. You wish to enter? Uh, yeah, kind of. You're willing. Sure, whatever. We just want to use your phone! Hello? So he's the one who brought us in. It wasn't Dark Cell or the one. Or Luke, so it was actually him. Yeah. 
Okay, back, sorry. <sighs> okay, baby, come on. It's soft. Come on, I'll catch you. So that was the rest chain? I thought that was the other thing. Oh, like she was getting possessed and... Oh, oh, Alanis. Your dainty little illusions are finally starting to pay off. Oh, so that's... Wait, but I was in the way. Okay. The other creatures you, you've been seeing. His name is Darksil. Luke and I are presently de dedicated to dealing with him. Since you are responsible for releasing him, I trust we can count on you for assistance. No way, Jose! Come in. Who or what are you? I'm not prepared to explain that to you. Just understand the Dark Soul must not be permitted free reign in your world. The same goes for me. I only have special permission for the purpose of bringing him back. Where are my friends? It seems they are sub subject to Dark Souls' command presently. Without a body like yours, we can't leave this house. But it seems he's after something more than just a body. He desires a way to survive outside the world needing one, without needing one. Like what? A certain charm. It, El Elenis has spent the last several years constructing. How can I be responsible for all this? I tried to make it very clear that you had to be outside the house before you opened Dark Souls prison. But sadly, you weren't aware that this is not a real house. The only true exit is through the front doors. As long as Dark Souls is loose in this house, he is virtually invincible. His only handicap is that he can't leave without his host body. It would have been so much easier to force him outside while he was still in prison in that chest. Alright, I understand everything. Excuse me. Gotta blow my nose. Okay, I understand everything. Furthermore, once we have finished here, Luke must be destroyed. What? Why? He was born under the most horrible circumstances imaginable. He's completely contaminated. Oh yeah, because he's not really a son. He's a demon spawn of Satan. So what do we do now? We must persuade Dark Souls to give up his unnatural ambition. He still has unshakable faith in the, that blasted charm. Why Alanis made it for him in the first place is a mystery to me. Surely she was aware of his history, that he spent centuries terrorizing people. Yet she still willingly desires to aid him. It's senseless. Is she, like, in love with him or something? If you ever come across this charm made, is, this is what it will look like. Oh, a ribbon. It's just a length of fabric. A little ribbon. A grotesque invention, you know? It's, it's just a ribbon. Alright, Luke Skywalker, let's do this. Then we must find the ribbon and destroy it! But that's the thing, Janine. We already did. What? When? Shortly before you arrived. It's why we thought there'd be no danger for you. You could just walk in and walk out. There'd be no reason for them to fight you. Why did- why did, what did you do with it? I hid it in Lincoln, Lin, Lennon's car. My mother told me that the next time he took it out, she would have the earth swallow it up, with him inside. She'll never look for her treasure there. It will be gone forever. There's no hope for them now. But then, if there's no hope, why are they still making such a fuss? They've both been torturing me to get me to tell them what I did. But I won't. In time, they'll give up, surely. What is that car we passed on the way here? Was it that car we passed on the way here? What? On the way here, before we stopped at the lane, we passed a car in a ditch. There was no one in it, so we just left it. Just sitting there in the open? Yeah. Did your friend see it too? Oh, fuck. Yes. Oh, no. 
<laughs> Did you hear that? Did you guys hear that? Oh my god. Oh no. God, not to match his voice. Uh, I don't even remember. Oh no. Then, as soon as Dark Souls stumbles across a, a memory of that, if he hasn't already, we gotta go. Matt's car, I guess. Go, 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 go. How much would I bet they're already there? Oh. What? 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 So I killed the other dog senselessly. Luke, you could have said something. These creatures are only the first. I think my dog was the first. Janine, just up ahead. The... The road. It's... It... What the fuck is wrong with you? What? Sandy? What? What? Sandy? Uh, I have to do what I have to do. I'm sorry. I feel like if I go that way, I'm gonna be tricked. It was this way, right? No, it was- wait. No, yeah, it was back here. It was. What is that? What is that? Well, hello there. Oh, okay. It's a raccoon. Can we get my dog back for real? So I think with my blade, I can purify the creatures. See, cause yeah, that kills them. But then if I use the... What's happening? <sighs> Great. Alright, birds. I hate birds. I just focus. I really don't know what to say when we fight. Um. Yeah. Just woke up. What are you guys up to? What are you guys doing? Me, 
Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. Alrighty. Raccoons. Hey, wait a minute. I saw Sandy like he attacked his own health right now. Yeah, what's up with that? Oh, is he using rage? Get to that slime. How the fuck do I get there? Oh, there we go. Really? Come on. Oh my god! Get in there! What the hell? Does anybody see this? <sighs> I'm getting frustrated. Oh my god. Get the f in there! Fucking hell. God. Uh, I'm gonna shoot my face off! Okay, get up, get up, get up, get up. Just get up. Get up. Get up here. There we go, whatever. Here. Dude, I'm here! Oh, great, what did I do? Guys, did I mess up? I see a bunch of animals, but I don't see the dog. Did I miss the dog completely? Did I miss Sandy? Where's the car? What the fudge? Was I not supposed to go out in the trees? Oh, God, it's, I screwed this, didn't I? Just tell me if I did, guys. Just be honest. Oh my god! <laughs> I don't wanna, I don't wanna navigate. I don't wanna navigate through all these trees! Oh my god! What do I do? God. Is that a 
Sarah? Hey, Sarah? Okay, I feel like everything is, like, glitched up. Like, everybody's here, but, like, nobody's doing it because I'm doing this wrong. I feel like all this empty space is outside the map, and I'm not supposed to be on it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to one space I was in. We have to follow, follow, follow the dog. Follow. But I don't know where the dog went. There he is. Yes. Thank God. Ah. Yeah, I went outside the map. I'm so pissed off. I'm not even gonna commentate on this. Oh, okay, they're gonna kill him. Whew. Freedom! Here, bye. Here, bye. So we're gonna go through here, up here, down this way, up this way. God dang it, I can't get up there. There we go. Whoa. Whoa, big bear. Let's do it! Ah. Alright, we gotta make sure that it doesn't die, because I really wanna purify it. You know what I'll do, Sherwin? Shoo-in to do this? This. Again. Okay, uh, again. Yeah, this thing's tough. Sandy, please, will you? Don't kill him. Fuck! Damn it! Ugh, come on. I want to be a killer of animals. Great. Hang on, I'm gonna get up a bit. I'm gonna move a bit. I need to move because I am uncomfortable. This battle. Attack. Birds, the dog. What? Does anybody else notice that when Sandy attacks, his health goes down? Yeah, what's up with that? What's up with that? Missing. We gotta, we gotta be on this, man. Kill them. Kill them. So, honestly, at this point, I don't care about purifying them or not. Just kill them. Take them down. Let's go. Now we're on the road. There's the car. Sandy? Because I know she was there. I meant Sandy, what the fuck? I meant Sarah. <laughs> what the hell? What just happened? Uh, the letters aren't the same, so I'm gonna go with Dark Seals. Hello? 
I'm afraid you're a bit too late. Well, aren't I pretty? Try to fight me, Janine. Come on. <coughs> I can't do this. <coughs> Pity you had to torture that poor animal. You, Dark Sill, will inflict more torture on these creatures than I ever could. I just panicked. I needed the energy. The poor thing could barely believe it was dead anyway. Oh, There, there. You are quite flimsy at the moment, aren't you? No. I can't be naked out here. Oh, you frightened me, you think. Don't tremble like that. What? Bye, Miss Jin. Well, I saw him up ahead, so I don't think he's dead. <laughs> I think I kind of spoiled everything for myself. Damn it! She's gone. Oh, was that thing a woman? Damn it! You have it, don't you? You have the ribbon. Hee <laughs> hee, yes. As you can see, I'm quite set to be on my way. There's so many things I long for, so many dreams to fulfill. You feed. Oh, never mind. Give it to me! Oh, back off! Give it to me! I've had enough of you! Holy shit. Picked up the ring. And you can go to hell. Boss fight! Boss fight! Boss fight! Boss fight! Janine, I can save you. But only if you allow me to annex your body. With Luke dead. Oh shit, he's dead! No! Oh, come on! Luke! Luke! Uh, your father killed you. Of Symbionis is broken. I must take another host. And, but only at your consent, I'm able to whatever the holy holy holy. Yeah, let's do it. I have yet to save. Oh. <laughs> How convenient. Part seven. Hey, I'm gonna take a drink. <sighs> Doing Dark Souls voice is so <clears throat> kills my throat. I brought you- okay, I guess it's a woman, because it called her- it was a woman, right? I don't know. I'm gonna try one. I brought you as far as the front door. This is where I must leave you. My strength is at its end. I cannot predict what you will find up ahead, but your friends are in here. You must be- you must brave it if you wish to rescue them. Take the weapons. It's up to you, Jimmy. Goodbye. All justice for great justice. I can't read, apparently. I don't know how to read. Okay. These paintings. Too bizarre. Alright, guys. This is it. This is what we've been waiting for. Shoot. Um, let's try the shotgun. Never used it. Upstairs, do we? Wait, where am I supposed to go?
So yeah. So we're gonna do. Do we have to Is this a never ending loop again? I will certainly explain, my love. I have explained it to you countless times, but each time you refuse to believe me. You behave as though I would try to trick you. You seem to think I enjoy playing games with your mind. Are you really so ill prepared to learn with my history? Alright, let's learn your history, lady. I was the last of, of a beautiful family. They knew their kind was destined to die out. Their own, indi their own div divinations had revealed as much. But as they aged, they saw the passage of time as mockery. I was created as a, bla a black backlash against their own mortality. They sacrificed the last of themselves to grant me immunity from a natural death. So I am the child of their vanity. But instead of embodying their memory of their greatness and wisdom for all time, I carry the curse of their stupidity and arrogance. Eternity stretches before me as a par paradisical liberation from death, but as an endless hellish chess the word. This flesh is a prison. I would do anything to be free from it. Yeah, immortality is not as knocked up as people think it is. I have to go to the second stereo now, because there was one next to it. Um, attack. I think this triple strike would be easy. I feel like I want to go to the Cheesecake Factory. I don't know. I feel like eating there. I want some cheesecake. Some yummy, yummy cheesecake. Right now. And something really good to eat. And some Italian food too. I really love Italian food. Oh, I love chicken parmesan. Even though that might not be Italian food. I don't know. I just know that if I go to Macaroni Grill, that's what I get. Chicken parmesan or like some pasta. My older sister, she loves lasagna. Oh no, I'm hungry. I think I'm gonna just go cook something as soon as I'm done with this episode. This episode is long. I should have stopped when I saved. I'm such a moron. I'm like so into this. I can't help it. I want to like. I want to know more. I want to. Whatever. Alright, here we go, yeah. You hate fruits of my dear man. That's all I can say for you. You convey pain as though it were a staple of life. You torture yourself and see ghosts in your reflection. Why do you pretend to be so pitifully concerned about my motivation when you recoil at the fact of it? Do you really wish to face the truth, or will you cringe in horror when the truth doesn't suit you? Okay, so wait, what the fuck? Once this world was mine, I had blood and eyes, the whole standard package. I never asked for anything more. There was nothing wrong. But then, a tiny misstep, so slight a thing. And suddenly I'm wrenched from the world without so much as a whisper of commemoration. This beautiful creature I love so much in life, would they turn on me so quickly, snuff my existence, and banish me from this world without a second thought? These animals, who I never harmed even though I had the power to, would they mindlessly process me through their own food chain like I were nothing but a bag of flesh? I've wanted my life back for so long. I want to breathe again. I don't care if I drive every last one of them insane. Oh, okay, so like, she's immortal, but she wants to die, and he's like, not dead, but he wants to live again in this world. So they both want what each other has. Well, 
that just makes me feel a little bit bad for Dark Zone. You know? Because it's like... I feel bad. Like, he said he didn't harm anybody, but then again, Vestian told us that he did. He tortured people, but I think it was just because he was pissed, you know? I don't know. I'm having mixed feelings now. Even the lady who I thought was a bit, I didn't like her, but I kind of feel bad for her now. I mean, you, don't you guys? You guys probably feel bad. Well, anyway, so what do we do now? Are we looking for a door, or is it a, oh, a stereo? I feel like I gotta keep looking for, oh, the staircase is open now. Okay. Oh, I was about to skip. Yeah, so, I feel bad for them. I really do. I... And you know what? I even like Matthew, because when I look back on my videos, even though he was an asshole, he cared about Janine, and he cared about Sarah, and he just wanted to go home and be safe with them again. You know? He, he does care. He's not like one of those assholes, you know, in a certain game, in a certain, um, you know, franchise that I played recently where um, <clears throat> a boyfriend, said boyfriend totally left his girlfriend to be devoured by monstrosities. You guys will probably not get the reference because I don't want to get in trouble. But, you know, it's, it's, not, it's not even a big deal. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. But the point is, you know, he's not an asshole who doesn't give a shit about his girlfriend. Like, you know, his girlfriend's just, you know, some, you know, just some... Excuse me, just some bag of flesh to screw around with whenever he feels like it. No, he cares about her, and he cares about Janine, even though he treats Janine like he, she's like a little sister. Or something. I think that's what it is. They treat her like she's a little sister. And I think that's fine. You know, it's okay. Okay, guys, I'm gonna wrap the episode up here for today. It's been, like, a little longer than expected. So hit a like and a favor if you enjoyed this video, hit the subscribe button if you want to join the aristocracy and become an aristocrat like me. Until next time guys, I'll see you later. Join the aristocracy, subscribe now and become an aristocrat today.